Now let's see how you can download and install Teleprime on your laptop or on your PC by simply downloading it directly from the Tele Solutions website. So I'll go to Chrome and under the Google search, I'll write Tele Solutions. Write Tele Solutions here. And you will find their company website that is telesolutions.com and just click on it. Here you have multiple options to choose from. On the right hand side, it says download. So I'll click on this. And you can simply click on this version, the latest release or the download button from here. So it says supports Microsoft Windows 7 or later. So my Windows is Windows 10. Let's see how it works on it. So just click on download and it will start downloading. It will ask for the prompt. So let's click on keep and it will take its time to download. I'll fast forward this process. So after downloading is done, I'll click on this arrow key and click on show in folder. So it will appear here. Let's double click on it and click yes. Now it asks for the prompt that application Teleprime will be installed in this application path. You can change the location or otherwise if you want it to be installed in C drive, you can click directly on install. The installation process is very simple. Now the installation is successful. I'll click on start Teleprime to start the software. As soon as the software is started, the application startup screen will appear, which asks you that Teleprime will start with the following settings. Click configure to change these settings. So it automatically detected the country, the accounting terminology and the company data path. If you want to configure it, you can click on configure. So these are all the details mentioned here in the configuration. The default country is Pakistan, use accounting terminology of others, uh, all okay. But the data is saved in the company data path that is C use public and Teleprime and data. So the problem is this data is the company data files. When you do accounting on this software, it will be saved in C drive. But this is not safe since whenever you want to install the windows, you don't need to check C drive for the important files. You can simply store it in D drive or any other drive to keep it safe. So I'll just double click on it and click on up, 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 just click multiple times and then it will show you the option of D drive. So just select D drive. And let's say this tele setup, or if you have any other folder already created for the data files, then you can store that there as well. So just select this, just double click and double click and then click on accept. Or otherwise, if you don't want to select multiple tele setup folders, just double click again, click on up and then accept. I'll just select it single time and click on accept. So now it's selected D tele setup. Whenever you see double dashes with any letter, you can use the control and that specific alphabet short key to accept directly. For example, if I don't want to scroll here and click on accept, you can use the short key of control A. Just remember that whenever the alphabet is with double dashes, it indicates that it will be used with control combination. If there is single dash, it will be used with alternate configuration, the alt button and the letter that is mentioned here. So in this case, two dashes means control and A. So combination of control A will be used. And now we are back on the screen we have seen before. So click on accept. So 
here we have the welcome screen where Tele asks you to select one of the following options. You can try it for free in the educational version, use the license from network, reactivate the existing license or activate the new license. Right now, we just want to use it for educational purpose. So I'll click on it. It is exactly the same as we buy a license, but the only restriction that it has is it has limited dates. That means you cannot enter the transactions in each and every date. There are some limitations for the dates, which I'll explain later. Otherwise, all the features will be activated in the educational version as well. So don't worry about that. So I'll click on it. Now from this onwards, we will learn how to create the company from the next video.